Hey subbies and viewers, if you want to learn how to quickly get your splits, then just keep on watching this video. Now I'm going to say that flexibility does take a lot of time and practice, so I recommend stretching at least four times a week, mornings and nights, right when you get up in the morning and before you go to bed. stretching I just start off by warming up my muscles first and I do this by doing a couple of jumping jacks and I do 50 of these. Okay so after you're finished warming up you're just going to sit back down and open your legs as wide as you can into a straddle and you keep your back straight and you try to lower down until your chest touches the ground and this is called the pancake stretch it's a really good hamstring stretch. over to your leg and try to get your chest to touch your leg and then you take your arm in the air and you twist over to the side and if you can try to get your head to touch the ground so my little sister decided to join me in on stretching and in yoga this is called the forward fold or forward bend and the sanskrit name is uttanasana to get into a deep lunge stretch you try to push your pelvis down to the ground while keeping your back straight and now we're lowering down into the lizard pose now I don't really know what this is called but I just call it the backwards lunge and what you do is you keep your back straight and try to lower your chest down into your leg. Now we're going to get back into that deep lunge but this time you're going to take your back leg and you're going to pull it up as far as you can. And just remember to repeat it on the opposite leg.
face with her light split. And this is her left split. And this is my right split. And in yoga, a split is called the monkey pose or hanumanasana. And it took me about seven months in total to get to where I am now. This is my right side and it's still a little bit tight so I'm still working on it. And once you get comfortable with your split on the ground, you're going to pull your leg up and this is just a variation of a split. You pull it into your shoulder or either you try to get your foot to touch your leg. And this is my better side which is the left side and you're just going to come down and try to keep your hips squared which means you keep your hips facing forward. And something else you can do, you can lean forward and try to get your chest to touch your leg, but if you're really flexible, take it on down and try to get your chest to touch the ground. Headstands require a lot of balance and strength. And all of your body weight goes into your arm. You don't want to put any pressure onto your head because that can cause some injury. <laughs> well, one of my favorites, a forearm stand, and the Sanskrit name is Panchamaya Rasana. This took me about two months to get, but you can get it with a lot of practice. This takes a lot of strength and balance. And this is my sister learning her handstands. And what you do is you take your hands and you place them firmly into the mat, and you take baby kicks until you catch your balance. Handstand. I've been practicing my handstands for about two months now. Kick up into the handstand, catch your balance, put all of the weight into your fingertips. And this is the ear pressure pose. And lastly, a chin stand. You can follow my yoga Instagram to see more yoga poses at model underscore beauty underscore. And my personal Instagram is model beauty. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share if you like to, and follow me on all of my social networks.